We are here messing around again. What an additional series in my channel called Junkyard Days. <laughs> uh, we gonna walk out here just to see what we see on this. Uh, it's a 2005 TSX, which is compatible with our TSX. Uh, all first generation TSXs are compatible uh, with the 2004. Uh, I think the 2004 is also compatible with the 2008. Every part might not be interchangeable, but I would happily say at least 90% of it is, too, is interchangeable. Uh, with that said, understand that uh, let's get to the car first. Understand that the um, we're not gonna get to the car first. I think, don't quote me, but the 2000, I think it's 2004, 2005, 2006, and 2007 uh, Honda Accords. They have a lot of pieces that are compatible with the 2004, 5, 6, 7, 8 Acura TSX. Um, I know at least the the um, the window switches, at least that, um, is compatible with the 2004 through 2018. So, in the event that you are strapped for cash, number one, just understand you can always go to your local junkyard. 2004, the first generation TSX are old enough. Granted, any car is old enough. Um, if somebody is willing to pay that type of money for something that's brand new. But any car is old enough to be able to be purchased by a yard and be placed in a lot. But um, a lot of these cars, you know, they get front end bumbles, front end damage. Uh, the frame bends. And, you know, at that point, the car is total. So a lot of the parts that are all already that are in the car that haven't been you know damage are still good and perfectly perfectly fine to use i mean you don't want to cut your budget at everything but you know what you should be able to cut your budget i mean even the engine i mean you all know that the k24 is a pretty strong engine um and it's swapped put in and put out of a lot of different cars so i mean if you can go all the way up to the engine there the the, the potential to replace or to interchange those parts with the junkyard car are limitless but uh consider that consider a junkyard and also consider a uh a completely different car the Accord 2000, 2004 to 2000 google it i, I know it's, I, I know it's 2007 2006 at least that whole generation you should be able to interchange all that stuff with i think this is us you just go in there you get a car you get a slip 27j this is 27 import and we have import 27 oh there she goes and look you get all this look i told you the engine the engine in this, in this girl is already gone <laughs> it doesn't stay long because <laughs> as as these guys know that, that the engine is, is superior. Um, it's a tank. They don't, I don't, as far as I'm concerned, they don't make they don't make engines like that anymore. That was the last of the best. But this is a this is a black TSX, and she is damaged, or in most people's case, junk. But as a do-it-yourselfer, concerning your car, well, you see. Where you see, uh, well, where most people see junk, you should see the value. And we're going to just, well, off, off the jump, the front bumper. This alone. Well, no, not that you're doing that work. I mean, you can repay that, but it's not worth it. The grill, this right here, somebody could do something with that. The lights, the headlights are gone for obvious reasons. The engine is gone for obvious reasons. A lot of interior parts. Let's just dive in. You even got a full set of rims uh, and tires. Extreme case scenario. 
It's not, the trade's not, well, trade is almost horrible. It's on the B in horrible. But you got a set, you got three rims. <laughs> you can repair one. This car's been out here for uh, ever since the fourth, so it's now the 11th. As you see, these cars are valuable, um, especially when they come to it this far in their lifespan, the junkyard. They are, they just, as far as I'm concerned, they're, they're fantastic cars and they offer a lot to salvage. Right, you still got an amplifier in the back. That's the amp right here. You still got a steering wheel. You can pull this off. Um, I'm not getting anything today. My parts, I see is out. If anything, I'm gonna get some screws. Up, oh, somebody, look, somebody was smarter. Well, we still got some fuses. I'm gonna pluck a lot of these fuses out. You have accent pieces right here. Um, mind you, I oversee two Acura TSX. Um, a family member of mine was convinced that they should get one as well. I mean, at at 150 plus thousand miles, these cars are just superior. They're excellent. And one more time, I don't think, I don't think that they make cars like this anymore. Um, this is the last of the Mohegans. Uh, I think the ones before this were the uh, Civics. The uh, you see, you see, um, you see them, the first generation generation Civics. There are tons of them are still on the road. This alone, these accent pieces alone are, are valuable. It, so much for the chair. I would have considered this, but this is in horrible condition. But uh, it's not past the clean. I mean, you can still get something out of it. <clears throat> The glove compartment's gone. There's a light, and for you all that don't know, let me just pull it up. For you all that don't know, you it, the TSX has a glove compartment light, and it's a. I don't know if you can see it. Where's my hand? So my thumb, it goes in here, and I'm literally pressing it. So just for market purposes, this is where it's at on the car. And I just press it out. Oh, let me take the bulb out first. Well, for, you, for those of you that don't know, the TSX has a, it's a glove box light. Um, what I usually do is I take these. And in your compartment right here, in this little compartment, um, if you're not familiar with it, there should be a part right here that you're able to pull out. And there's a light in that as well. Um, this one in here is green, but I usually take from junkyards this one right here and put it in so you have a little courage light. Here at your uh, your uh, compartments, your uh, courtesy compartment as well. So that's a nice accent that you might know about. In fact, here's the one in your actually in your uh, your your courtesy compartment here. This goes up here and you see it doesn't cast a lot of light, which is why I interchange this one, the glove box light for this one because it, it, it's a nice accent and it casts way more light than, than that and look if you are in a junk y'all just just because the part that you're looking for isn't here a lot of time you can just look around the car because the guys that come in prior to it the guys and girls sometimes they're, they're courtesy they're courteous they're courteous excuse me so you uh, they'll they'll take a part off and they'll leave it here so like lug nuts these right here these parts right here even the rims so they'll stick it in the car if somebody is potentially coming behind them and look just to take out look this right here is, is there's value to this <laughs> we talked about this in my previous video this is not scratched up at all junkyards usually give this type of these type of small plastic stuff away for free that maybe not these maybe not but this small absolutely definitely fuses so i know i'm going to go on my window again so uh look into it literally look into it you know, the interior compartments of your side view mirror. We're not going to get into that in the detail anytime soon, but just observation. You got your retention spring here, your light again clips and just pop that in. And this is the front. This thing is the, the interior housing of your headlights. Definitely not going to use this one, but uh, we're going to get into that in detail as well. Look at this seal. That's the seal part where you keep these, uh, keep the moisture from going in and out of your headlight. 
we're gonna get into that. <laughs> Got your power steering reservoir. I might even just take that, just to have as a backup. You got your 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 uh you got a ballast master cylinder fuses yeah, even these fuses like that those fuses alone like 25 30 dollars a pop 25 30 dollars a pop brand new junkyards nine times out of ten let you walk out with them these clips these clips are eight dollars for like five on amazon i wouldn't get this uh heat guard because of obvious reasons but you, you pull off another heat guard and you bet that you don't have one that ballast alone that's that's worth 25 dollars somebody will buy that an extreme case scenario i wouldn't recommend getting another a huge radiator a reservoir yeah but a huge radiator maybe not what's on the ground there the uh intake box yep look this is a friendly battery tray <laughs> that's uh let me look at the battery tray. Even the uh, the window regulators. Um, let's go in here. These often break when you're trying to change your um, interior lighting. You can come in and get extra sets of those. You this I know this alone. Somebody I pay you seventy five dollars for. Rear view mirror. Even the steering wheel. Even the steering wheel controls. You can clean these up. That's, that's valuable. Even this this accent piece to cover all your uh, steering wheel guts is a good $15. Got another one. So we're leaving here with a set. It's just for free. And look, just messing around. You got a headlight. You got a back side headlight. The seal's probably broken, but well, it is broken. So. You can refurbish it. You can buff that out and blast all this off and put a bead of uh, water repellent or some type of uh, uh, hydrophobic silicone and you can rock, you can run that. And somebody else was considerate of another person potentially coming in and wanting that so they stuck it in the back of the trunk. Or they, they either did that or they hit it. <laughs> In the event that you're trying to change your speakers out without going up. Uh, do we have screws? Hold on. But it, the way it goes, it goes, I know it goes up. But these brackets alone are worth $15 on eBay. But look, you can you can actually take the glass in the event that something shatters and you're tired of putting cardboard in your window. But the window regulator, as you can see, is attached. These four bolts. These this is a common part. Well, let me see. This one, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt. You attach all these. You window regulator. Yeah, it's still in there. It's a beam that runs all the way down here, and it pushes your window up and down. That alone is sixty dollars, brand new, waiting to be taken. And again, when you're in here, when you mess around with this car, just make sure you're considerate of somebody else that might come behind you. If you don't need to break the part to get to something else, just cons consider uh, not breaking it. Uh, I could have ripped both of these uh, side door tr panel trims off, but I, of course I didn't. And it's, it's, it's almost a lot easier to pull it off the fashion of which it was put on. But uh, to get to those doors, I pulled these off. And like we talked about in a moving panel trip, you can come get some of these clips if you want to. Now you everywhere. Sometimes looking around on the ground beneath the car, found a crowbar. All right, this is specific to the TSX. Let's validate it. We can't validate it with a lug nut. They cut them all off, but this conveniently, coincidentally, fits exactly where the one on the TSX goes. I'm gonna take this too. And then in addition to what some people might consider junk, Sometimes you might find money. Sweet. These screws are unique to the TSX and Acura. I always get some screws. There is no ECU, unfortunately. I see it back here. It would be back 
behind that carpet piece. It's pretty black and dark, so sometimes you can find an ECU. And the way you get these speakers harnesses off, as you see, you have a clip here, a clip here. They go in, put them in just like that. And there was one up here, but then you, you push it in, then you press it down. As you can see, once they end up, they're in the snook. And then you get your clip on the back. But this particular one is a, it's a flex clip. That's the, that's unique to the 2005, I guess. Maybe the ones that are above the 2004, but that's how you get those out. They're pretty straightforward. And we are able to validate. You know what? This is not the lug nut to the TSX. This was, I don't know what this was. This is boo. I'm sorry, not the lug nut. That's, that's not the uh, OEM to remove the lug nuts. This is part for most TSXs, if not all of them. They have a uh, the kit. Your jack goes here. Your uh, tourniquet thingy goes here. And the actual um, crowbar goes there. But we're your new group of guys. Uh, I'm just trying to converse with another guy. Uh, you already knew it. Just like I, just like we knew. They, these things, these cars are stripped so fast. These engines are just too valuable to let sit in a, uh, a junkyard for this long. But even still, you know, you got stuff. You got stuff that you can pull from. The, uh, the wiper motor is down there. It should be down there. But... Let's see here. I think we're going to wrap it up. We're going to leave it at that. Um, just understand what some people consider junk is a junk man's value. <laughs> um, consider your local junkyard con concerning any parts that you might run out of. Um, we're going to wrap it up. I think this is it um, for the time being for the day. It's another TSX that bites the dust. I'm going to continue to pick a few things down. Um, clip wise fuses but uh, again this is an additional series I think I'm going to initiate on the channel per someone's idea called Garage Days so you can like you can subscribe any questions or comments leave them in the comments section have a fantastic resurrection Sunday